Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Southern Yankee Designs. If you're new here, welcome. I know things are crazy right now with everyone having to stay home and all the stores are closed, so you really can't go out and shop for pieces to decorate with. So this video is all about using what you have on hand, or in this case, what I have on hand, to decorate and also create a custom piece of furniture. So let's get this ball rolling and get started. This is the area I'm going to be focusing on redecorating and creating a one-of-a-kind piece to fit this wall. I'm in the middle of home renovating and unfortunately the electrical box had to go here and it's an eyesore. I was going through my storage building and came across this old sofa table I've had for years. I'm using it for parts to create a custom table. I went online to see if there was anything that I can find to kind of go by as a guideline or um, see if there was anything really that existed that was long enough to fit that space and I just couldn't find anything so this is going to be just perfect. It's going to be custom and pretty much free because this is everything that I've had in my stockpile already. I am removing all of the screws that are attaching the top of the table to the frame and also the screws that are attached to the long sides of the table. screws are out, I am using a 5-in-1 tool and a hammer to loosen the glue that's holding everything together. I did this around the entire frame so when I pried everything apart gently, nothing would break and everything would stay intact. Now that the tabletop is off, I'm actually going to save it for my stockpile because I'm sure I can recycle this for something else later on down the road. So now I'm only going to remove the long sides of this table. Again, I'm using my 5-in-1 tool and a hammer to lightly tap things apart and loosen up the glue. I am keeping all of the parts that I have taken off of this table and putting them in the stockpile to recycle for some other use down the road, just like the tabletop. So these are the two pieces I'm going to use to create my new custom table. I'm tightening all of the remaining screws, making sure everything is secure. I am replacing the long sides of this table with 1x4s. I want the overall measurement of this table to be about 7 feet long, so I measured everything and cut it to size. I'm using wood screws to attach the 1x4s to the frame. That's a long table. <laughs> Good gracious. 
Yeah, but it's going to be beautiful and it's a custom piece that nobody's going to find anywhere else because I made it and it's going to fit my space perfectly. This is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I envisioned. Now it's time to measure for the top. This is a little bit over seven feet long, but it still works. I had this old shelf board that I cut to size, leaving a one inch hangover. Is that how you say that? Hangover? I don't know. I think I switched the words around. Is it a one inch overhang? Who knows? But it looks awesome! So I'm going to paint all of this raw wood with just a really dark, dark color. I came across this company online that sells these amazing pieces of mica in all different shapes and forms. And I also had this large sheet of, I guess it's called rock paper or mica paper. And I'm just going to spray the back side only with these two colors. I want this mica to really pop and I want more gold tones. So that's why I'm using this bronze and gold to spray on the back sides of all of these pieces of mica that I'm using. And then I'm going to let it dry. These are just some pieces I had left over from projects that I did about a year or so ago. I'm actually in the middle of putting together a new video that has some projects of mica in it. So you definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss it. This is a product I had on hand called Palette Deco in Metallic Bronze and it's by Faux Effects. I'm using this small hand trowel to apply it to the sides of the table and the top. This product doesn't need a top coat and it's really durable and it's going to act as an adhesive for these mica pieces. And if there's any areas that the mica doesn't cover, this is just going to accent it so well because when it dries, it has a really pretty metallic finish. All of the pieces of mica are dry and ready for the next step. I'm going to attach them to the sides of the table into the pellet deco paste. And make sure that the paste is still wet. You don't want it drying, otherwise this step won't work and you'll have to apply the pellet deco again. I measured the center part of the table and I'm going to treat this kind of like tile where I start in the center and work my way out to the edges of the tables. This keeps everything even if I have to cut anything. You may want to work in smaller sections if it makes you more comfortable. In between each piece that I am applying into the paste, I am wiping off the excess paste with my fingers, but you can use a rag. sides are done and I really wish you could see this in person it's so much prettier in person than it is on film now it's time to move on to the tabletop I'm using the other form of mica it's already dry and ready to go it's very easy to cut but I'm just gonna kind of map it out before I apply the palette deco and get everything into place you're going to want to keep all of these straight edges that you're cutting off. Keep them aside because we're going to use them in the future. So this straight edge is actually in the center of the table and I am just going to remove pieces of this mica so the straight edge is gone because that will stand out like a sore thumb. You don't want any straight edges in the center of your pieces. 
keep them on the outer edges. And these are the pieces that I cut off and set aside. And I'm just kind of mapping everything out, making sure I've got all that I need before I apply the palette deco and start putting everything into place. Now that I have everything mapped out, I'm going to remove the mica and start applying the palette deco in an even coat. Even layer is what I meant. You don't want to get it too thick, but you want it thick enough for the mica to adhere to the surface. Now I'm going to cover this whole table top with these pieces of mica, keeping all the straight edges on the outside. Remember, no straight edges in the center because they'll stand out. And just press firmly into the palette deco paste. Make sure everything is even. Any excess paste was blended with my fingers and I just blended it right into the mica. It's only going to enhance this beautiful finish. I'm repeating these steps for the edges of this tabletop as well. I'm just going to take little scraps that I have left over of the mica and cut them to size and place them all around the edges of this tabletop. It really gives a finished look. And one little side note, this is real mica, so be cautious when working with this material because it is basically little pieces of glass. So when I am using my fingers and rubbing over the mica, I'm doing it gently and cautiously. <laughs> This is really coming together nicely. I love the direction it's going in. It still has a little too much silver and gray for me. So I'm actually gonna go over it with some stain to tone down those grays. I'm going over with a metallic copper and a metallic gold. And yes, these are stains and it's a product called Stain and Seal. It is also by Faux Effects. And this is a great stain because it is a stain and sealer all in one, so you don't have to use a top coat. I am using a pouncing brush to apply both of these colors in areas separate from each other. I'm going to blend them together slightly with a rag later on, but this is just going to tone down some of that silver gray that I don't want in there. Now, you can get mica in about four other colors. Uh, they've got a beautiful bronze, a really pretty rich bronze, and a gold color, but this is just what I had on hand, so I'm making it work for me. I'm lightly blending everything together and I'm going to let it dry. Now that everything's dry, I'm going to top coat just the top of the table with Aqua Wax. This is also a product from Faux Effects. I am using a Venetian plaster trowel to apply the wax to the tabletop. This wax is easy to use, water-based, and durable. 
You can totally skip this step, but some of the pieces of mica were kind of sticking out, so I wanted to just fill everything in and do an extra protectant layer because after all, it is a tabletop. Another little side note, this wax does dry totally clear. I am lightly rubbing some of the excess wax in with my fingers and just to kind of blend everything softly together. So I've got my metallic bronze palette deco back out and I'm going to go over all of the areas that haven't been done yet, like the legs or any pieces that you want to cover. There's no need to sand or anything like that with this product. I'm just going to apply it to the legs and blend everything softly together with, you guessed it, my fingers. All of the products I'm using from Faux Effects are all water-based, so they clean easily with a little soap and water. I am head over heels for this beautiful creation that I created out of things I had around my house. I'm absolutely blown away and it's prettier than I imagined it would be. Now I went ahead and decorated again with things that I had in my building or just around the house. These lamps I got from my mom about 10 years ago. These large art plaques I've had in my storage building and they work great to cover the electrical box. And I am just so happy with how this turned out. I hope this inspires you to take your old pieces and transform them into new ones that will enhance your beautiful home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope it inspired you to use the items that you have in your home to redecorate and recycle these things because you got them for a reason. There's really no need to go out there shopping when you can recreate pieces or decorate with things that you already have. Please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can keep up with all of my future projects, videos, and faux finishes. Until next time, y'all stay healthy out there. I'll see ya.